So you may be wondering why people are using a bright red light device in order to optimize their health and performance. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing some of the top benefits associated with red light therapy, and we're gonna be showing you some evidence from the scientific literature to back up these claims. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutzia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then this channel is all about light, circadian rhythms and how you can optimize these things in order to live your best life. If you haven't already done so, then make sure that you hit both the subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. For today's video, what we're going to be doing is covering some of the most well-known benefits associated with red light therapy and also showing you some of the evidence from the scientific literature that uh, red light therapy really can have uh, this, this kind of impact. Now, before we jump into those benefits, I just want to let you know that if you aren't sure about how red light therapy works, then it would be a good idea to have a base understanding first, just because some of these benefits can almost seem too good to be true if you don't understand how red light therapy works on such a fundamental level. So we'll um, have a link to the video above here and if you're on your phone then obviously it won't pop up but we'll leave a link in the description so that you can find a video which is really short and simple and explains to you how red light therapy works. But for today's video what we're going to be doing is four different uh, benefits. We're going to discuss muscle recovery, uh, testosterone levels, sleep quality as well as skin complexion. So for the very first one, this is on a study uh, where they tested for muscle recovery and they had a whole bunch of guys doing a really hard exercise bout, a really intense session that was going to cause a lot of muscle damage and then they measured their muscle recovery over the next few days um, but only half of the group essentially had red light therapy session uh, immediately after that uh, workout routine. What they found is that after 48 hours, the guys who had had red light therapy immediately after the session, they had 75% less muscle pain. They had 50% uh, less of a reduction in range of motion. Obviously, if you've had a really hard workout, sometimes you can't fully stretch uh, that muscle. And they also found that they had 45% less of a reduction in force production. Now, obviously, those things are really important because if you want to get back into your next uh, workout, if you can do that with a lot more force production, or with a greater range of motion, it means you're going to get quicker performance or quicker muscular gains within the gym because you can train harder or more frequently in those follow-up uh, sessions. For the next one, we're talking about testosterone, and this is probably one of the things that actually made red light therapy um, famous. There's a very well-known uh, biohacker in the health industry. His name is Ben Greenfield, and he wrote an article in Men's Health and spoke about how he used uh, red light therapy and applied it to his uh, testes in order to triple his testosterone levels. So obviously for males, you know, 98% of the testosterone that our body produces is in the testes. And because it's an area that we are covering so much with clothes, it doesn't get enough uh, natural light exposure. There really is a lot of room for improvement uh, in this area. Now there's been animal studies where they've um, found that applying red light therapy to the testes can almost double the amount of testosterone in an animal study, so that was based uh, on rats. But they have actually done, uh, in humans, they've also uh, done trials where they've used light therapy in order to boost testosterone, and they've also found similar results and also increased um, sexual satisfaction when men use red light therapy in the appropriate places. The third one, and this one's got some drastic results, it's really one of the uh, main ones that we discuss here at Mychondria because people really feel the impact of this, and that is sleep quality. So a study that was over 14 days um, had people do red light therapy once a day for a, a period of 14 days. And at the end of the study, what they found is that uh, by using red light therapy, the participants had a 28% increase in sleep quality. They were falling asleep 83% faster. And they also did some blood work and they found that their melatonin levels were 75% higher from using red light therapy. So obviously, you know, sleep is such, uh, it's an elixir of health that has so many different applications, you know, that itself is gonna help you to have faster muscle recovery, it's gonna help to boost your mood, your energy levels. So if you can have, you know, just a small percentage of an increase in your sleep quality, that can have a drastic impact on so many different areas of your life. For the last one, so now we're discussing uh, skin complexion. And again, all of these studies and notes are gonna be linked in the description. So if you wanna um, check these out, 
just click uh, one of the links in the description below this video. But for the skin complexion study, what they did is they had over 100 participants who did red line therapy sessions. They did a total of 30 sessions and they found that there were improvements in skin complexion, in uh, skin smoothness, as well as an increase in collagen production. Now obviously it's hard to give you objective measures for this, so on the screen now you will see an image. So this is from one of the participants who was using red line therapy every single day, a 40, 41 year old woman and you can see already the amount of wrinkles is drastically decreased in the before and after uh, from using red light therapy. Now, to end this video, I just wanna let you guys know that not every single red light therapy device is the same. You know, you can't just use essentially a, a red light. Not every single um, red light does have the capacity in order to tap into these benefits. So these, are the specifications of the devices in the studies, they're extremely powerful, which means that you're actually, you know, delivering a high enough dosage for your cells to be able to produce these benefits. So if you're looking for some of the most high quality and high powered red light therapy devices on the market, then I highly suggest that you check out the MyLight devices. They're available from uh, mychondria.com and those are some of the most efficient and you know they deliver some of the best results in terms of home devices in the red light therapy market. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content from today's video, then please, please smash the thumbs up button. That lets us know that you enjoy this video and fuels our fire to create more videos like this for you. Again, drop the comments below if you have any of them, but otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.